Hello everybody, it's Mindy and I have something to show you today. It's not diamond paintings and it's not yarn. No, I have a whole stack of books here. <laughs> so these are books I have gotten over the last, I don't know, like three months. So I haven't gotten a lot really. Just remember, it's like three months worth of books, okay? So let's start, let's tackle this. Some I bought, well, most of them I bought. Anyhow, let's start with this one because I did not buy this one. <laughs> so this is a book from my best friend for my birthday. She's into Colleen Hoover. Um, she's read a couple, three of hers this summer already, and she thought that I would enjoy Colleen Hoover. And when she gave this one to me, I was like, oh, that's cool. I said, I actually have like maybe one or two that I purchased. So she got me this one. She's, she says she's really been enjoying it. This is Reminders of Him. And I have no idea what it's about, except a young mother fights to earn her place in her child's life. But is there room for her? All right. So she served time in prison um, and she's getting out of prison trying to reunite, reunite with her four-year-old daughter. So that could be tough, right? But it sounds really good, doesn't it? She told me about one she was well, she reading Verity, I think. And she said, oh my gosh, Verity is so good. Okay, this one I got, <laughs> I got kind of roped into through my book club because we were talking about, you know, spicy scenes and like Fifty Shades of Grey came up and somebody mentioned this series of books and that, hmm. And I said, okay, I got to try it then. So it's Anne Rice, The Claiming of Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. It's erotica, 100%. I guess all kinds of strange things go on here. Very, very erotic. Okay. An erotic novel of discipline, love, and surrender from the master storyteller, Anne Rice. So it's Sleeping Beauty <clears throat> and she's woken by the prince, but not by a kiss, right? <laughs> no. So, um, I said I would try it and see what I think about it. <laughs> All right. Next is a book we're going to do for our book club. And it's um, When You Get the Chance. We're going to do this one um, after we finish the Nora Roberts that we're working on. So this is by Emma Lord. And this one is like a Mamma Mia in reverse. They reverse the gender. The girl is looking for her mother. There's a drama club. There's acting involved in it. <clears throat> and she's looking for her mom, trying to figure out who her mom is. She finds um, some stuff on her dad's computer. It's leading her on a hunt to figure out who her mother is. I don't know why she doesn't know. I don't know why he doesn't just tell her. I mean, I don't know. This one I bought at Meyer. No, not at Meyer. We were at Ollie's. <clears throat> this one was at Ollie's. This was $4. Could not resist it. It's a Barbara Delinsky novel. It's called A Week at the Shore. So a good beachy read, right? Great beachy read. Um, a photographer ends up back at her um family's Rhode Island home, their beach home, been 20 years. Um, there's two sisters, there's daughters, they're all coming together, you know, after years to reunite, get along at their family home on the beach. All right. This one, who did I get this from? I don't know if this was from my secret Santa at the retreat or Sue. I got two different books, but this one is a book talk journal and planner, which I thought was really cool. So you can actually go through here and you can plan out your book reviews um, and a summary of the book so that you have it handy when you like make a video like I'm doing. It would be handy to have the information in here. Little synopsis, that kind of stuff, how much you enjoyed it. The author all the information there so that's kind of cool i like that all right okay little doggy you gotta move you're in the way all right this one i had to get because oh there's my colleen hoover right there all right <laughs> um because i'm collecting all of these i think she only has four emily henry we read people we meet on vacation for our book club i'm currently reading beach read i think this is the fourth one maybe i don't i don't remember for sure but they're both the ones I've read so far. I'm halfway through, well, not halfway, a quarter of the way through one. And we read the other one and I've enjoyed both of them. So this one, I mean, they're about books, you know, and um, let's see. Nora is the heroine. Um, she lands an enormous deal as a cutthroat literary agent. Um, she agrees to go to North Carolina 
for her sister's trip. She's helping her sister out. And they keep bumping into this other bro bookish brooding editor. You know what's going to happen there, right? She's helping out her sister with her book. There's this editor. He's obnoxious. He's whatever. You know they're going to fall for each other. Sounds excellent, right? So here is my Colleen Hoover. This is the one I have bought. I wondered where it was. I didn't look in this pile. It ends with us. Colleen Hoover. So this one sounded good to me. Um, sometimes the one who loves you is the one who hurts you the most. Isn't that the truth, right? Yeah. Um, it hasn't always been easy, but um, it hasn't stopped her from working hard for the life she wants. Her name's Lily. She moved to Boston, started a business um, with Ryle. He's a little arrogant. There's questions about her new relationship. I don't know. What else? Her, a heart-wrenching story that breaks exciting new ground for her as a writer. That's what it says. Anyhow, I'm excited to read some Colleen Hoover. A lot of people are talking about Colleen Hoover. Let's wait on these for a second. What else do I have in this pile? Okay, this book, this book I got when we were on vacation in Utah. Um, we went downtown Park City. There was a little shop there. It was a coffee shop with books. Well, more coffee shop than books. There was a few books. But I found this and I couldn't help but pick this up. Dale bought it for me, actually. It's Freddie Mercury, A to Z. <laughs> and so I had to get this icon, virtuoso, superstar. So it's literally Freddie Mercury, A to Z. So like, here's the B page. B is for Bohemian Rhapsody. And then it talks about Bohemian Rhapsody and stuff like that on that page, you know? Um, what page is this? I, I is for I want to break free. <laughs> so it's just different information about him and the band and stuff. You is for under pressure. <laughs> okay, right? So that, that looked fun. That looked fun. I had to pick that up. Where did I get this one at? Where'd this one come from? I don't even know. I think this one came from, it says bargain books, but that's not Maybe I got it at Meyer. I don't know where this one came from, actually. Doesn't tell. But it's a Joanne Ross Snowfall on Lighthouse Lane. A Honeymoon Harbor novel. How can I resist a Honeymoon Harbor book, right? It's got a lighthouse. We're at the harbor. Um, Jolene grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. Mm -hmm. And she's indebted to her mother. Um, and she's flying to L.A. Then she runs into Aiden all over town, the first boy that she ever loved. You know, you got to run into your first love. That's why I liked it. First love, reunited, second chance, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Jolene is an unexpected breath of fresh air when he sees her. Of course she is. Of course she is. So I had to, I had to pick that up. And then I got a couple of smaller paperbacks. Um, I may have just picked these up at like, um, oh, I know where I got this. This was on vacation too. This was in a little town that we were at and they had a little free library there. <laughs> and so I looked through the little free library box and I picked this one out. Sandra Brown, Texas Sage. So it's a Texas romance. Um, so I picked that up there. And then this one I picked up at like um, Dollar General. Dollar General has a little rounder spinny thing and they have books all the time. And this is was in the romance section. Dorothea Benton Frank, the last original wife. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Been doing too many videos today. Um, Anne's husband is they're in the, the social set, but his cronies have traded in the mothers of their children for some tanned young Barbie brides. Wow, well, there you go. You helped me get this far. You're my wife. You raised my children. But now your job is done. It's time for you to go, right? Time for you to go. Time for me to pick up a young hot number. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to pause the video and come back because I just got, today, just came, it's on the table, my other book of the month. Don't ask me which months these are for. The one that just came is July. So this one has to be June. So book of the month.
I don't always get book of the month, but sometimes I do. This one sounded really good. I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. It's Abby Jimenez, Part of Your World. I've heard many booktubers talking about it, and I forget what it's even about. A gourmet grilled cheese sandwich and a cuddle with a baby goat. All right. Okay. <laughs> Daniel, who's a hot carpenter, 10 years younger than her. They're the complete opposites. Chemistry is undeniable, right? Um, her ultra wealthy parents want her to carry on the family legacy of being a surgeon. Um, she's fine with just being just a, a mere doctor. She doesn't need to be a surgeon. <laughs> Every minute she spends with Daniel in the town he lives, she discovers what's really important. You know, people in your life, that's what's important. Keeping up with the Joneses, not so much, right? Okay, let me pause and I will be back because I want you to see the other two books that I have. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Like I said, it just came. I mean, Dale brought it in when he came in for lunch. <laughs> um, so at Book of the Month Club, they always have, you can get a selection of the month. They have usually five or six titles. And lately they really haven't been appealing to me a whole lot, but this one did. It's another one that I've heard many book tubers talking about. And then I did go and I ordered an add-on this time. So you can do add-ons as well. You can go to like many, many, many books and add on another book if you'd like to order. So these are the two that I got. This one is from Catherine Center. It's called The Bodyguard. I know a little bit about this one. Guy, girl, bodyguard situation. Thing is though, she's the bodyguard. She's guarding him. <laughs> so that'll be interesting, right? And of course, you know, you can't, you know, be a bodyguard for somebody without having some feelings for them, right? And starting to fall for them. Yeah. And he's got a stalker, so he's trying to make it look like he's with somebody and whatnot so that the stalker leaves him alone. And he's not wanting to tell his family about it, all that kind of stuff. So she's going to be there and she's going she's gonna to help him out a little, right? And then my add-on, I looked and looked and looked through many different books. And this one seemed very interesting. And it's called One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. Um, looks like this. Book of the Month always has their little label on them, and they have Book of the Month on the back. They're always hard-covered, nice books. So um, this one is Real Love as Seen on TV. B is a very stylish, plus-size fashion blogger. Um, she's devoted to family, friends, all those things, and she's contacted to go on one of those shows, like a bachelorette show. <laughs> and she, you know, she doesn't believe that that stuff can be real. It's got to be fake. People don't, you know, find people they like on those shows. They don't actually fall in love, but she's asked to go on the show. And so she says, sure, I'll prove that it doesn't really happen. However, she's surprised a little bit when she gets there to find that there are several, several contestants or candidates or whatever on the show that she might just, you know, could have some feelings for. So it sounded very interesting. I thought it was fun. So that's what I have, a bunch of books, right? A bunch of books, which one to read first? I gotta finish the three that I'm reading right now. That's what I have to do first. So anyhow, thanks for watching everybody. And just a plug here for book club. We do book club every Tuesday, um, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Like I said, we're finishing up a Nora Roberts book. And then we're going to move on to this one here. So if you want to join along, um, we got one more week of this. I don't know when this is going out, though. But when you get the chance, it's the next book that we're going to do. And then um, I don't know what's on after that. So anyhow, join us if you like to read books and like to discuss books. We discuss them. Um, Brandy from Mystery of Diamonds and I are live together and we talk and then People in the chat come in with their questions, comments, their additions to the whole, you know, discussion. So we have a good time. Um, it gets pretty funny sometimes. <laughs> so check it out sometimes, see what you think. Maybe you want to join us for a book. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed. Happy reading. Uh, what better time to read than the summer, you know? Just kick back a little and pick up a good book. Beach reads are on my list. That's what I'm reading right now. Beachy reads. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.